Register Phenomena Code 183 Object Class Beta Orange Hazard Types Organic Hazard Sapient Hazard Ideological Hazard Transmutation Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-183 is to be contained in a humanoid containment zone, with the interior resembling that of a two-story middle-class house with a surgical lab at Installation 002-3. RPC-183 is permitted to request a number of items and materials at the discretion of Level 3 security staff. Items RPC-183 commonly request include books, DVD copies of movies and television shows, ingredients for a number of dishes, a number of medical tools, and a number of other miscellaneous items. Site-008 may request RPC-183's transfer with proper permission from the Research Division head. RPC-183 is permitted to request it go to most public areas of his choosing thrice weekly, in order to better maintain RPC-183's mental health. Authority agents are ordered to monitor RPC-183 for the time he is outside of Authority sites. As of 2000, see Incident Report 183-1, RPC-183's privileges for site leave are now to be kept to a minimum of once every two weeks. When RPC-183 requests to leave Authority grounds, he must be monitored by MST Tango-9, Cauldron. RPC-183 is a 35-year-old Caucasian male with brown hair and hazel eyes, standing at 173 cm and weighing 75 kg. RPC-183 refers to himself as John. When RPC-183 is not in his working hours, RPC-183 is commonly seen wearing a dress shirt, jeans, leather dress shoes, and a silver watch on his left hand, all of which have been provided to him by the Authority. When in his working hours, he would be found in his lab adorning modern surgical attire, including a white face mask, a light blue surgical cap, light blue sterilized surgical shirt and pants, surgical gloves, and white sterilized sneakers. In his supposed working hours, RPC-183 can be promised a sum of U.S. dollars to perform surgeries. Exactly what RPC-183 does with the currency given is unknown. Upon receiving the sum, RPC-183's anomalous effects become active. RPC-183 is capable of manipulating the physical forms of both biological and non-biological matter into any form chosen by the requester of the surgery. To see the results of RPC-183's anomalous effects, See Experimentation Logs 183-1 through 183-6. All patients of RPC-183 are an instance of RPC-183-1-X. The exact method as to how RPC-183 activates its anomalous effects is unknown, as any attempt to see RPC-183 performing surgery has been met with failure. In one instance, CSD personnel were ordered to ask RPC-183 if he could observe the surgery being performed on another CSD, to which RPC-183 told him he could not, as he could contaminate the area, and was ordered to wait in RPC-183's living room. The CSD was then ordered to open the door to the surgical lab by authority personnel, but had a strong compulsion not to, even when threatened with termination. In another instance to observe RPC-183 surgeries, a hidden camera was placed in the surgical lab of his containment zone. As the surgery was commencing on the CSD, the camera's visual and audio recorder went offline. Attempts to observe RPC-183's anomalous effects have been discontinued. Due to the inability to observe RPC-183's anomalous effects, there may be reason to believe the inability to observe RPC-183 is an anomalous effect in itself. RPC-183 claims to have been born on in California, United States but state records report no man by his name or age existing in the state. Additionally, RPC-183 claims to have studied at the University of California Davis under the major Transformative Science, with a doctorate degree to prove so. The degree appears to be authentic, however, RPC-183 does not appear on any university records. In addition, staff members and students for the class of do not recognize anyone resembling RPC-183. Discovery Log RPC-183 was discovered when reports of a miracle surgeon came from California, 
along with several reports of residents with altered appearances. Some of the changes to residents include weight, build, hair placement, height, sex, race, and age. Experiment Logs Experiment Log 183-1 Entry 183-1-1 Subject CSD-5632 was a 43-year-old built Slavic male. CSD-5632 previously stood at 180.34 cm and weighed approximately 81.8 kg. CSD-5632 additionally had a deep voice, black eye color, and was completely bald. However, CSD-5632 was reported to have had a black perm. A notable feature of CSD-5632 was a giant scar from the left eye to the lower right of the chin. CSD-5632 was reportedly sent to death row following the murder of his wife and a close acquaintance. Request. RPC-183 was requested by Dr. Amber to perform surgery on CSD-5632 to give the appearance of a 23-year-old Caucasian female. This prompted RPC-183 to request payment of $5,430. The procedure took 4 hours and 11 minutes to complete. Result. The resulting instance, RPC-183-1-48, took on the appearance of a well-built 23-year-old woman that stands at 152.4 cm and weighs 47.4 kg. RPC-183-1-48 has also gained a soprano pitch voice along with having long brown hair. Additionally, the scar that was previously on the subject before the operation is now missing. RPC-183-1-48 post-surgery had gained all biological properties of a female including but not limited to chromosomal makeup and genital function. In response to this change, RPC-183-1-48 has expressed confusion and a loss of identity due to the surgery, and is currently in a mental condition similar to gender dysphoria and depression. RPC-183-1-48 has expressed emotional distress at the mention of RPC-183. Action to be taken toward RPC-183-1-48 is currently under review. Note from Dr. Amber After further research into CSD-5632, I have learned through photographic evidence that the form CSD-5632 had taken was that of his, now her, dead wife. I theorize that the reason for CSD-5632's emotional distress toward RPC-183 is due to RPC-183's knowledge of turning him into his own wife. I will inform Dr. Wallace to possibly ask of RPC-183's history in relation to CSD-5632. Entry 183-1-2 Subject: CSD-8991 was a 32-year-old well-built male of African-American descent. CSD-8991 stood at 178.2 cm and weighed approximately 80.7 kg. Background information CSD-8991 reveal was once a Marine officer sent in the death row after killing his strike team and four civilians. Request: RPC-183 was requested by Dr. Wallace to perform surgery on CSD-8991 to give the appearance of a male seven-year-old Japanese child. This prompted RPC-183 to request payment of $10,340. The procedure took eight hours and thirty minutes to complete. Result. The resulting instance, RPC-183-1-49, took on the appearance of a 7-year-old Asian male child standing at 106.2 cm and weighing 29.4 kg. In addition to form, RPC-183-1-49 lost all body hair and gained a bowl-cut style haircut. Post-surgery RPC-183-1-49 expressed confusion out of its new form, and as well as great amounts of anger, which could be characterized as tantrums. Additionally, DNA tests have presented that the telomeres of RPC-183-1-49 have regrown. Over time, RPC-183-1-49 has displayed childlike behaviors and mannerisms, as well as becoming fluent in Japanese. However, the fluency in English has degraded as RPC-183-1-49 becomes more fluent in Japanese. 
after five months of RPC-183-1-49 being in its new form. RPC-183-1-49 was administered Class S amnestics by order of Dr. Wallace. RPC-183-1-49 is currently living under the name and has been adopted by the family in Japan. In this state, RPC-183-1-49 is currently being monitored on a bi-weekly basis to better study the effects of RPC-183's anomalous properties over time. Entry 183-1-3 Subject CSD-1832 was a 29-year-old average-built male of English descent. CSD-1832 stood at 174 cm and weighed 69.3 kg. Reports show that CSD-1832 was a member of the Church of Malthus that attempted to assassinate a Level 4 researcher, before being apprehended by ASS staff. Request. RPC-183 was requested by Dr. to perform surgery on CSD-1832 to give him the form of a white industrial-style bucket with a radius of 15 cm and a height of 1 meter. This prompted RPC-183 to request payment of US$1,750, which was promptly paid in full. The procedure took 3 hours and 12 minutes to complete. Result. The resulting instance, RPC-183-1-50, took on the appearance of a brand new, white industrialized bucket that has a radius of 25 cm and a height of 1 meter. While the material of the industrial bucket seems to be made out of plastic, after further analysis, it appears to be made out of material presenting biological properties, now referred to as RPC-183-1-50 is now being used by janitorial staff at the request of Dr. at Site-002. With this event, it could be concluded that RPC-183 is able to manipulate an individual's form, from an animate being to an inanimate object. Entry 183-1-4 Subject: CSD-9700 was a 32-year-old muscularly built male of German descent with blonde hair who stood at 189.1 cm and weighed 96.6 kg. A notable feature of CSD-9700 is his blonde walrus mustache. CSD-9700's record shows a history of fraud across multiple multinational organizations. Request. Dr. Wallace requested RPC-183 to perform surgery on CSD-9700 to give him three times the strength he now possesses. This prompted RPC-183 to request payment of US$55,250, which were promptly paid in full. The procedure took 8 hours and 23 minutes to complete. Result. The resulting instance, RPC-183-1-51, now stands at 193.2 cm and weighs 125.8 kg with a greater muscular physique. Post-surgery RPC-183-1-51 has displayed world record physical breaking feats. Performance test records report that RPC-183-1-51 was able to sprint 100 meters in 13 seconds, able to deadlift 400 kg and hold his breath for over 10 minutes. Actions to be taken toward RPC-183-1-51 is currently under consideration. Note from Dr. Wallace. Due to RPC-183's ability to greatly increase the strength and change the appearance of any individual, I have requested the Board of Directors consider modifying units using RPC-183 for future MST teams. The request to modify Authority units is currently pending. Entry 183-1-5 Subject CSD-5938 was a 23-year-old built male who stood at 176.5 cm and weighed 75.1 kg. CSD-5938 was presented deceased with a bullet wound on the base of the skull originating from a prisoner riot at Site-009. Request: Dr. Wallace requested RPC-183 perform surgery on CSD-5938 to restart CSD-5938 vital organs and basically bring him back to life. This then prompted RPC-183 to say, I am a doctor, not God, there's no bringing him back. Results. It has been concluded that while RPC-183 is capable of changing the physical properties and appearance of an individual, RPC-183 is incapable of reviving deceased individuals. 
Entry 183-1-6 Subject: CSD-0891 was a 28-year-old thinly built Asian male of Chinese nationality. CSD-0891 stood at 166cm and weighed 95.8kg. The record of CSD-0891 is unknown, as that database does not display any name listed under CSD-0891. Request: An unknown individual in the Authority facility requested to perform surgery on CSD-0891. The request made by the unknown individual, according to RPC-183, was make CSD-0891 perfect. In response, RPC-183 requested a payment of $533,300,950, which is presumed to be promptly paid but the means of how that was is still unknown. The procedure took 18 hours and 30 minutes to complete. Result, data expunged. See Incident Report 183-2. Incident Logs Incident Report 183-1 On 2000 RPC-183 was in one of his thrice-weekly visits to the public when an incident occurred between the Authority and the organization known as the Church of Malthus. During this event, the security task with guarding RPC-183 had been terminated by Church of Malthus members, and RPC-183 was now missing. After not receiving five-minute updates from RPC-183 security, MST Tango-9 Cauldron, was deployed to recover RPC-183. RPC-183 was discovered by MST at the edge of town, inside an unmarked white van with two Church of Malthus members. MST opened fire on the driver of the vehicle, terminating him. This was then followed by the other Church of Malthus member panicking and retreating on foot. The suspect was later found and was terminated. MST Tango-9 Cauldron then recovered RPC-183 from the van unharmed. The commander of MST Tango-9 Cauldron has recommended a change in the privileges RPC-183 is given in order to, quote, give less of a chance for those assholes to take this doctor guy, unquote. Incident Report 183-2 after the procedure requested by an unknown researcher was completed on 2000 by RPC-183, see Experiment Log 183-1 Entry 183-1-6, RPC-183-1-52 incapacitated RPC-183, leaving him with heavy injuries. RPC-183-1-52 then proceeded to escape the containment zone destroying any barrier in its path. According to the casualty reports, 15 ASF staff, 3 janitorial staff, and 6 researchers were killed during the containment breach. RPC-183-1-52 was eventually terminated after MST Tango-9 Cauldron used an on-site tank to land a direct hit on RPC-183-1-52's chest. RPC-183-1-52 proceeded to bleed out from the chest, collapsing 9 seconds following the hit. RPC-183-1-52's body was later recovered for experimentation. Autopsy reports showed that no damage had been taken anywhere else on RPC-183-1-52's body, besides the chest cavity where the tank cartridge had pierced. Investigations to which researcher approved of the experiment and the identity of RPC-183-1-52 is still ongoing, and all researchers related to the experiment are now pending for questioning. Note from Dr. Wallace. After considering the capabilities of RPC-183 and the organizations actively attempting to retrieve him, should he be taken into custody by another organization, I recommend that RPC-183's object classification be changed to Gamma Red. If this occurs, our top priority should become recovery or termination of RPC-183 for the sake of the Authority, and possibly even humanity as a whole.